let me just put it this way. If you're emotionally unhealthy, it's not wise for you to be around emotionally unhealthy while you try and become healthy. If you're trying to quit smoking, it's not wise for you to hang out with people who smoke. It's just that simple. So it's less about other people and more about the person you're becoming. If you're trying to become a healthier person in the time and season of life that you're in, and you know that that's going to require some margin or some space from people maybe that you've had relationship with that are also that are not trying to become that type of person right now, then that's what it is. And um, Proverbs 13, 20 says, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. And I just think it's so important for, uh, for us to remember that like, you know, that principle I talked about earlier, the apple seed, apple tree, and the principle of planting apple seeds to get apple trees. And, you know, if you do those things eight out of 10 times, that's what you get. Well, if you put yourself around people who act foolishly, make decisions by the flesh, don't consider God in any decision, who are not trying to be healthy, who don't give you the time of day, don't invest what you're investing, um, don't see you um, as a person who is worthy of respecting, honoring, um, I could go on, right? But then that's the person you're becoming. And I don't believe you're becoming that person. Like I just mentioned those things. I believe you're becoming the person God's made you to be. If you're listening, you're, you're trying to become the person God's made you to be. And I hope that this is helping you be transformed by the renewal of your mind in that sense that you're aligning yourself more with the beliefs that God has, which is, hey, you know, if you want to be wise, walk with the wise, surround yourself with the wise. And that doesn't always mean like the people you hang out with every day, although that would be helpful. But it's like, if you find people, for example, online, I listen to all kinds of people online that I find, wow, God has given them incredible wisdom. And that gives me my starting point. And when I'm reading scripture, I'm able to receive in ways because of the wisdom I'm also receiving from people who are reading, for example, that same scripture. And um, I'm able to receive in ways that I wouldn't otherwise receive because God's using those people in my life online to feed me. I'm just giving you one example. Um, even if it's just simply health, like I surround myself online with people who are talking about health because what that means, by the way, is literally on my phone, on Instagram, um, I have accounts that I follow. I have friends that are in the health industry in large part because we'll have them work with clients in other part because I really benefit, love, enjoy, and want to be a healthy person. And, and that's been a journey for me. And I have a lot to learn. So I like surrounding myself with people who, are, who have been on that journey themselves. Right. And so it's a it's a simple principle. But if you want to be a healthier person emotionally, for example, then hang around people who are emotionally healthy online, in person. Doesn't mean you don't ever hang out with people who aren't emotionally healthy. It just means, hey, that's where you're at in life. and You're trying to grow. Be around those people as much as possible.